Today, let me show you a custom Super Mario 3D World level that I created. This is World 1-1 Super Bell Hill, but the goal flag that's in front of you right now, if you go towards it, it'll start to run away from you, just like from some of the later levels in Super Mario 3D World. In this level, I've also added some extra stuff. I've added some extra parts to the level to go along with the mechanic of the goal flag running away from you, and there are also some extra green stars inside this level. So let me show you around this level, let me show you how it works, and this was a really fun level to make. I hope you enjoy this. Alright, so let's get started. Once you start running after this flag, you can see that it is running away already. We are chasing after this flag. It's going along. There's a green star here instead of in the pipe. I thought that was a cool place for the green star. So that you could stay focused on chasing after this one. The green star is already already down there. Look at it. It's already waiting by those boxes for us down there. So instead of going into this pipe, we're going to run across the pipe so that we could get this green star here. And we are now at the second part of the level. This is where the second part of the level normally is. So you'll notice that there's no green pipe around here. Normally you go into a pipe in here and that takes you to a room where you could get the stamp. But I wanted to just get rid of that pipe and just put the stamp here so that you could stay focused on chasing the flag. So that the focus of this level is chasing after the flag. So let's just get that stamp and let's go and chase after this gold flag some more. So the gold flag runs down there. Let's chase after it. There's a green star to collect here, but the gold flag is already running on up ahead. And you might be wondering, how are we going to make it up there? There's no way for us to get up there. There's no way for us to get that high. Like, we can't, we can't jump off a tree or anything and get up there. How are we supposed to get up there? But you'll notice that where the gold flag normally is over here, instead, there's a P switch with a green star on top of it. And in my troll level, I hid some stuff back here, but in this level that we're playing right now, there's nothing hidden back there. So let's get this, let's see what happens. And you'll notice that a warp box spawns, so let's head on into this warp box. And the warp box teleports you up here. So we were just down here, that's the P-switch that we just hit, and that's the warp box that we went into. So if you accidentally fall off and you don't get everything that you need here, then you can just head back to that warp box and teleport back up. But let's take a look at what's up here. So we've got Mario, we've got a question mark block, and we've got another P-switch. And it's really important to hit this P-switch. You guys will see why in a moment. In a little bit later in the video, you'll see why it's really important to hit that P-switch, because that P-switch activates something that we need. So in this question mark block, there's a fire flower here. So let's hit that P-switch. So the P-switch has been hit. And when you shoot up these fireballs with your fire flower power up, you can see that there are some invisible cloud platforms here. And they don't go all the way straight here, so there's a green star to collect there. But you can see that there's a bit of a gap there. So we can try to do a rolling long jump, or maybe we could try doing a spin jump and then diving back. But yeah, this is going to be, this one's going to be a bit risky. Let's see. And we made it across! And you can see that the goal flag is up there. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> So let's do that again. And there goes the flagpole up there. But we know how to get there. All we have to do is take this warp box. And there's the flag waiting right by the pipe, giving us a hint that we have to go that way. Let's get our fire flower power up again because we are going to need the fire flower power up. It's very important that the fire flower power up is here. So this time, since we already have that start, let's go the safe way. Or you know what? Let's go for it. I think it'll be more fun. Oh no! Okay, good, we got it, we got it, we got it. Now, you can try to like chase after the flag this way, but I don't think that's a good idea. Because you do want to go into this pipe. This pipe launches you very quickly, and you end up over here. And you can't go straight into that pipe there, because you can see that there's a spiky thing there, so Mario will get damaged if he goes in there. So this is why you need the fire flower. That's why I put the fire flower power up up there. So that when you chase after the flag, you can get the fire flower power up here. And then you could use the fireball to get rid of that. Then you can take this up here. And the gold flag is right there to the left. You can see that it's running away from us. We're going to continue after that in a moment. But first, you might be wondering about this right here. Why is there a stone prison in here? You might be wondering, is this full of cats? Or what could be in here? And you might also remember, hey, Maybe these rabbits give something useful. Well, the first one just gives a coin, but the second one gives a Mega Mushroom, just like before. So let's take this Mega Mushroom, and here's what happens if you break this down. 
Look at what's in here. There's a green star in there, and there's our final green star. So we've collected all of the green stars in the level. Let's just go and chase after the flagpole now. The flagpole is just running up here towards the up left. How are we ever going to catch it? We can see its shadow up here, but how are we going to be able to catch it? How could we get that? There's no way to go back to the beginning part of the level, right? But you'll notice that right here there's a warp box. And the thing that spawned this warp box was actually that blue switch. The blue P switch in the clouds that we hit earlier. That was actually a switch that triggered this spawning. So that's why this block spawned. Oh, and there goes the flag! The flag is just running away from us like crazy. Let's chase after it. The final showdown. Let's chase after it. It looks like, where is it going? Is it going back to the beginning of the level? Let's get our cat power up. And here we go, just like the backwards levels in Super Mario 3D World video, it looks like the checkpoint flag is back at the beginning of the level. Mario is circling its prey right now, and Mario is ready to jump onto the flagpole and complete the level. You might have been wondering what that bright stuff around the bottom there was, and let me show you. This will give a good example of showing what that is. So normally, when you chase after a flag like this, you can sometimes get it in a position where there's no ground underneath. And if you're in a position where that happens, this flag spawns a cloud at the bottom of it, so that it looks like Mario is standing on a cloud once he completes a level like this, so he's not just standing in the air. And you might be wondering, what happens if this cloud wasn't actually added? And let me show you what happens. So right now, this is just a regular flagpole off to the side. This isn't the one with wings. So this one isn't going to spawn a cloud once we get it. Let's see, hopefully I can make it to it. And here's what happens. Mario slides down the pole. And he can just stand in the air like this. He could stand on nothing. So the cloud that spawns from the other flagpole is just visual. It doesn't actually make Mario stay in the air. Mario is fine and he can complete the course either way, whether it spawns that cloud or not. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see other levels with goal poles that run away from you, you could let me know in a comment which levels you would like to see. It's really fun adding new parts to the level, like the cloud platforms that we had to go up and combining switches to work properly, or the pipes that require special mechanics like the fire flowers, and even choosing a path for the goal flag to follow, making you go through the level multiple times, basically creating a lap that you follow around the level. It adds a unique twist to the game, and it definitely adds replay value to the game as well. I thought this was a really fun mod to make, and I hope that you enjoyed watching this. A big thank you to you for watching this video. Hope you all have a very great day, and take care, everybody. Yeah.